Give it a bit of recording to see what that cloud's gonna do. Look at that cloud. That cloud's definitely doing something. Don't think it's gonna do anything shifting. Oh, like that could be end up forming like possibly like a funnel, but who knows? There are people are staring at. You got a problem with staring at? It's because I'm looking at the clouds. Yeah, there's some darker cloud on that side. Trying to find any supercells or trying to develop one is cloud. The bottom side of the cloud, that's what I'm trying to keep an eye on. See if there's any movement to what it's going to do. That one kind of looks like a tail in a way. But it's doing something weird right there. It's like a little bit like a tail. I also had to notice in this cloud, but I never know what's going on. The cloud is doing some weird shape. That's doing some twisting. And disappearing. There was not no tornado. So I'm near Sam's Club, keeping an eye on the cloud, so... Seeing if there's any activity in the cloud itself, if any supercells starts developing. Because they're still saying it could storm somewhere around any hour by now. So they're just making predictions of anything on one of these clouds becoming possible a supercell. If anything starts developing, I will have to keep an eye on it. If it's around here. So yeah. If any of these become a storm, definitely have to keep an eye. And no way when the weather reports in anything coming from like um, warnings or signals or anything. Like they had no like warning last time. Or even the last time before. So obviously something was probably a little bit off. But yeah. You definitely see the clouds everywhere. I mean, if you guys can tell, I'm so far I'm not seeing anything trying to develop at the moment, but at the moment, it's just a bunch of clouds, so... But there is some storms developing right in Oskaloosa, um... Storms developing near Gunnell, um... So yeah, we be definitely keeping an eye on what's going on. So there's a puffy cloud right on top of us, um... In case that even becomes a supercell, I don't know. That could possibly happen, but maybe not, I don't know. It could turn into a storm right in front of me, but who knows. But, um, yeah, so far we're not seeing anything clouds becoming supercells yet, but I'm trying to keep an eye as possible to see if there's any storm activity or anything going on, but not sure if I'm seeing anything just yet. But there is storms trying to develop around Oskaloosa, um, near Grinnell, and there is some, like, rain starting to build up around Newton, so these are slowly building up. One way or another, there's going to be a supercell round hill building up. Just a matter of time. 
they've been saying there's gonna be storms after storms and I think I see one right quite a bit way back there. Um it's like a bit of a two oh great strokes. Um right back there could possibly be like a supercell. Just look at the storm build up. I mean but it's still possibly too soon, but we're still in that line of the low I guess low between high, I don't know. But we all in that line, so I am keeping an eye on that. Because the storms could possibly develop right around here somewhere. So yeah. You might think I'm nuts, but um this is what usually what storms chasers do. Yeah, so nothing happened with that cloud yet, but it's all like move around a bit. Um Fall is only small cloud, so I don't know if there's gonna be anything coming yet. But yeah, like there's no strong buildups in some of these clouds. Yeah, still waiting for that. I just thought I'd show you guys that that's what might happen yet with that cloud. So who knows? So I'm gonna test something in this one for like a little time lapse a bit for like. Who knows how many seconds. So I'm gonna try like even upload the original video, but also at the time now to show you guys in case this develops into a supercell. I wanna at least catch it right away. That cloud definitely looks like it's building up. I can definitely see that. It collided with the other one that was like right next to it. Yeah, I could definitely tell the sun filled up right there. That cloud really wasn't that big not long ago. So we could possibly have a storm right near here. There's another cloud coming nearby. If that starts building up, right close by with it, which it could start a line of storms right in this area. We got another one right there. Still gonna keep an eye on this cloud right here. Anything could possibly happen with this cloud. I mean, I'm, I don't know, there's just something about it just seems like it could possibly end up as a supercell but could be wrong. I mean, there's another cloud right next to this big, or the, I guess the tail of it as well, this other cloud right here. It's like, might be to a point to become small, but if I can point it around that, that top side, if anything is gonna happen, it's gonna be like developing right to that side. So I'm looking at the top of the puffy cloud to see if there's any type of buildup right there, but I possibly might be wrong. If anything's happened on the top of those clouds, I want to make sure I can catch it right away. In case the storm starts to build. So I want to make sure I want to see that this cloud is going to do anything. Like it's gone a little bigger. I can definitely tell that. I can definitely tell that cloud's gone a little bigger. But the cloud is definitely getting a little bigger each time. Even how far do it keeps getting, it still gets bigger. So that could start becoming a storm. If that starts becoming a supercell, I want to make sure I keep an eye on that. Because that cloud still is keep getting bigger, it's not getting any smaller. And it's probably going to continue that way. So I want to make sure I keep an eye Sorry, the film keeps breaking up, but I'm trying to make sure I keep an eye on that cloud right there. And but the other crowd starting to block it. I want to make sure if I see anything up there to keep an eye on it. In case there's any storms, I want to make sure I have it. Like I said, I'm storm watching and I want to make sure if I'm end up correct, then I can be surprised. But that looks like that can develop right there a storm. Any other clouds right there, like Fardor, 
it's like really small. I mean, look at those other clouds. It's like really small, and this one right here is big. And so he got another one right here blocking it. That's like part of like that, um, let's get a little farther range, like right here. So just a line of clouds right there, but yeah. But that could possibly like develop like together right there. They could possibly build up together and become part of a storm. And that could possibly happen. That storm, that cloud's like there is getting smaller, but yet still getting bigger. That cloud is not getting any smaller, but it's like it's just developing a little bit slow, but not as fast as the last, last ones are seen. But we could possibly have a storm nearby, but I'm assuming probably the next county away or probably the next um, several miles. That could possibly turn into a storm. So I wouldn't be surprised if the rain starts developing around that area. But those clouds are definitely getting bigger. Like there's like a couple buildups. Like just like a matter of fact, it's like three buildups. Three buildups around these clouds. Like three buildups on each side. I want to make sure these clouds are definitely keeping an eye on it. Just in case there's any storms, I want to make sure I catch it the right way. I want to make sure if there's any tornadic activities, I want to make sure I want to catch it. But at the moment, it's just clouds. But if anything on the radar changes, I want to make sure I want to catch it right on the radar. So in case there's anything developing, I want to catch it right away. But that little cloud right there, that third one I see over there, it's gone bigger. There's one that's closer, it's smaller, and the other one, it's just hiding. Definitely hiding. But yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on these clouds. Um, wait a minute. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong way. Look at this one. Look at this one. Like I said, any moment now, it could end up developing as a supercell. And I think we found the contestants. I think we found the winner. Right there. Right, right behind you. So I was looking at that cloud too. I was making sure that one is actually developing more than the other two right there. Yeah, I can definitely see the big build up in that cloud. So that's going to develop in a supercell if that keeps continuing. So yeah, I can definitely see it. And I can definitely see like the big cloud up right there. So I'm going to do this as a timeline. Mine got to be some developing. Come on. I know there's got to be a supercell right here. That storm's got to build up. Come on, don't prove me wrong. The storm is somewhere. I can see that thunderhead. Well, we got some puffy clouds way back there, so but there's no storms around that side. But there's like I think a big old cloud out in the southeast from this side. I could be possibly warm, but I'm starting to see like some shades of the clouds that are developing that could end up being possible, like um, super cells. There was a mess of a spot in Jefferson County, but it's like went back to a storm cell that's going up to Washington County, maybe possibly heading to like Iowa City of some sort, but. That's quite a bit of distance away, but no one I used to live around there, so yeah, no surprise, but there's hardly any crowds on that side besides even more developing. Like, I'm seeing something way out there, but not even sure if there's like any like supercells developing around that side, so I don't know. But the clouds are definitely 
still trying to build up so we could possibly get a storm any moment. So now it's enough for building up around here. Um, there's been some rain stuff around the southeast of Iowa, so yeah. We got a big old cloud right here um, heading to our way. Another big old cloud from that side, so I should definitely check the weight on a little bit later if anything's possibly going to change, but it's definitely starting to cool down a bit. I mean, but it's not much of a strong front for this cloud. Oh, yeah. The clouds are definitely building up. Like I can tell from this side, it's like more of like powered side cloud right here. Oh yeah. We got a cloud one on top of us. Oh yeah. Small little dawn cloud right there. That could possibly turn big. Maybe not. Who knows? But there's some clouds over there. Parts of a um, supercell you do I do see from the parts of that supercell that's from in Missouri to Nebraska. They're getting some like really really severe storms out there. They're like under a tornado watch over in um, Kansas. Why did I say Nebraska? I mean Kansas. Kansas and Missouri, so yeah. Sun's being blocked by the clouds. Definitely, you can feel that bit of that cold front, so. Yeah. Who knows what's going on with these clouds, yeah. Why want to keep an eye. So, this cloud here seems to be a little bigger from this side, so in case the rain starts developing, Wide around here, could possibly develop a wide around on it, but who knows? I definitely see some, but not seen the rain yet, and it's not like fully developed. But these clouds, you never know. All right, I see this cloud right here, right on top of us. I mean, just parts a little bit broken up there, but. Like it's just definitely expanding a bit, like through here, through all the way there, past the building side, and um, I guess it's plugged in with this cloud too. So yeah, possibly a storm could develop. Wait, I think I felt a sprinkle. I think I felt one. I could possibly be wrong. I probably just felt something, but who knows. And I said before, I can quite a bit of videos ago that storms could possibly develop, a supercell could possibly develop maybe in Ains, maybe somewhere in Story County, maybe somewhere in the county next to it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to do anything. I didn't say it would. I just I thought it looked cool. Yeah. <laughs> because a little peek out of the clouds under yeah. it. Well, there's like a little piece of a cloud developing right next to it. I just noticed that. That's actually gonna look cool on a video. Mm -hmm. So, parts of the clouds did break up in this one, the, the big one that was supposed to be white. Oh, look, there's a puffy cloud right there on top. So if I hear any thunder, <laughs> yes, I'll let you guys know. But there's definitely some puffy clouds here. Probably a point through that line was that like north of Ames a bit. It's like a I think a low or high line. I don't know. It's not really telling me on the um, radar, so it's kind of difficult to tell. But possibly some storms could possibly develop. Oh, that's an interesting lining right there. Shows a bit like a glow in a way. Glow in the bottom of the side of the clouds. Yeah. Why here could possibly be a storm Why in front of me. This cloud's actually been building up. So, there's another 
cell right there of the cloud. So if it begins to be like a super cell, never know. So yeah, the puffy clouds are definitely getting a bit donkle. Um, well, what do we have here? I mean, you look at the clouds this way. Um, it's just my some strange looking parts in that cloud right there. But um, I was gonna say is, well, on a tornado watch, um, well, they're gonna say we're gonna be on a tornado watch, so yeah. Definitely wanna keep an eye on these clouds. Okay, so I apologize, the video just like um, cut out on me on that. But um, if there's any possible chances, anything, uh, tornadic storms developing, tornadic weather could be possible, happening, who knows, but we'll, apparently I guess we're going to be right in the area of a tornado watch, so we definitely got a watch for possible chance of tornadoes, so yeah, it's on, it's on, I even said it, I said it earlier, I even said earlier that we're going to possibly get some severe storms, look at those trees, huh. I definitely got to get that 360 ready. I got to get that, I got to get this charged. In order to, for me to use 360. I got to get this charged in order for me to get, oh, and, Okay, speaking, I'm already recording. So clouds are moving in out there, and from the storms from like from Missouri to Kansas, um, Nebraska, I'm gonna try to keep an eye on the storms on the 360 to see if anything's gonna change around here. But a tornado like was around Iowa City, I can't say I'm not a fan of Iowa City, because well, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go anywhere from there with them. But um, anyways, I'm gonna keep an eye on the, with the weather and see what's gonna happen. 